Hello everyone, this is Matt. I'm at the Makerspace today and today we're going to show off one of our newest toys, the uh, Elgu Mars 2. Uh, Elgu, I hope I'm pronouncing the company's right, uh, names right, because they actually uh, sponsored the Makerspace with this product, which is rather cool. So today we will be trying out some uh, sp small battle tech uh, minifigs. Uh, it's one of the cool things with this sort of uh, this style of uh, resin printer is it does really well at the uh, high quality detail sort of uh, models as you will. So we're using the uh, Lychee Slicer 3. The great thing about this slicer is you can just press magic and it will orientate the models for the right position to try and get the best quality print out and generate all the support for you automatically. Which is rather handy because if, if you've ever dealt with 3D printers, supports are always the most difficult bit of the design. So, I've got the 3D printer ready. All the resins already in the tank. We're not quite at max because it's only quite a small print for this demonstration. But the, the menu's as simple as going through your menu. I've got a folder dedicated to 3D printing on this memory stick. And there we go. I just press play. Although, I will set up the time lapse ready for this. So, two hours, 40 minutes later, we have our little mechs here. Time to take them off. You've got to be careful, make sure you don't get any resin anywhere. This stuff is, uh, there's a reason why I'm wearing gloves. i just put it like that. As you can see, if I take the mech, it came out very nicely. Love the detail on this sort of stuff. You can even see... If I can get the camera to focus, like there's, a, there's even a uh, you can see kind of like the detailing on the knee, knees and the turrets. So, next job, scrape it off, cut the supports out, and then we go pop it in the uh, UV tank. have the uh, two mechs. Uh, unfortunately I was a bit um, forceful with this one and broke its arm off uh, while removing all the support like pieces. Got a note, note to self, be a bit more gentle but as you can see this one here, lovely detail. This is what you don't get with a traditional filament uh, de or FDM printers. Just the amount of detail that you can get in these sort of models. Unfortunately the camera does not want to focus you can even see like the, the stripe patterns on the legs. Be a fine inclusion to my Battletech army. And now that the support's removed, the one thing that remains. So we come over to the UV tank. So these are still a little soft. So we still need to cure them with a little bit more light. So we can pop the guys in there. Doesn't matter really which way they stand up. Drop the uh, machine over and set a set a reasonable time, and uh, that'll do. And uh, off we go. This this will make the model a lot stronger. So uh, hopefully we won't lose the other arm off that mech that I was a bit uh, forceful with. 
So now they've been cured for a while. This makes this gives them just a bit more of a blast with the UV light to cure the uh, resin. Makes them a bit stronger now. So this turret was really, really wobbly beforehand, hence why the other arm broke off. But now should be able to withstand the fights that these mechs will be going into in our tabletop games. Came out very well. So this is one of the first prints we've actually done with the uh, with this resin printer. We've still some tips and tricks to learn, especially regarding not snapping an arm off. But this is just one of the machines. Thank you to again to Elegu for donating this uh, resin printer to the Makerspace. And uh, if you're interested in 3D printing or laser cutting or woodwork, metalwork, uh, get in contact with us. Makespace, uh, Swindon Makespace is always looking for new members. So until next time.